such a thing. Well, so we're going to start with some of the basics with um, creating length in the spine. Let me just test this and say, yeah, this is a good, a good height. So the swing is going to go underneath your armpits. You're going to just widen your knees so your hands can kind of press out a little bit. And then you're going to lift your heart. So you don't necessarily have to lift your head, just your heart. Right? Mm -hmm. And then just do a little bit of a, a twisting from side to side here. Mm -hmm. We're going to make that movement a little bit bigger and going into some side lunges as well. Mm -hmm. This is like a sumo, sumo pose. So we're just going to start out with a, with a basic squat. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So do that and I'll be, I'll be right here doing something similar. Okay. Cool. Just following along. Okay. So like this. down. Mm -hmm. Good. And now see if you can lift your heart. Press into your knees. So pressing your knees away from one another with your hands. Mm -hmm. And then just lift and feel your heart lengthening up as your sit bones drop down. And just like I like to give um, a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a twist back and forth. Yeah, there you go. So you can feel how the spine is starting to traction out of the pelvis, creating yeah. some space there. Yeah. Cool. And then what you want to do is just start to make the twist a little bit bigger. So we are almost straightening one leg, twisting to the other side. So when you find that sweet spot, like if you get into like that, ooh, if that feels really good, mm -hmm. that's opening it up. Just stay there mm -hmm. a little it's bit longer. Kind of like uncomfortable under here. So is there something I can do? Um, to usually just lean back. Lean back, back a little more. bit more. Okay. Yeah, so that's the whole idea of keeping the shoulders down, the heart open. Oh, yeah. And uh, you're in a, like a slight back bend, so it's holding you up. Instead of by your underarms, it's holding you up yeah. by your heart. Gotcha. Yeah, really good. And then make the, make the lunges a little bit bigger. So come into one side where you're lifting, lifting the toes. Yes. Dropping the hips so you really feel that opening in the inner groin as well. Good. Yeah, anytime you want to press back, you can press back and open up the heart to take pressure off your arms and then you can feel you get that mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's I can feel kind of moments where mm -hmm. I feel the traction and then it kind of grips up again. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you get used to that. So when you're ready, bring both feet to center. Mm -hmm. You know, if you turn around and look at me, like, um, like if you turn around with the swings so we're facing each other, it would probably be easier on your neck. <laughs> right. So yeah. let's do that. That's good. That's good. So now you're just going to press back, feet together, and then come into a back bend here, a really gentle back bend. Feel the undulation in the hips and see where you can find like the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So press your hips all the way up, see how that feels, and then drop your hips just slightly. Keeping your feet where they are, just kind of notice the difference in the back bend. <laughs> let, your, let your upper body be fully supported on the swing. It feels like it's going to slip down my back. I wonder um, if I'm not. It's going to stay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and if it slips, it's okay. Yeah, just leave the back side. Yeah, so let it be a little bit higher up. To on my start. Back. Yeah, and then as you lean back, it'll come right into the tips of the scapula. Mm -hmm. So the first part is here, when you're here, lean back. So drop your hips, lean back, there you go. So like this. Yeah, so then it's in position, right? Uh -huh. Then you just lift your arms up. Yeah, there you go. See the difference? Oh, well, the swing is going to yeah. be a little bit more cooperative. <laughs> yeah. Good. So there's two positions that we can do here. This is one with the arms up overhead. The, the second one is with your hands clasped behind your neck and the elbows out so you're fully supporting your neck if your neck feels like yeah. it's too much. Yeah. And now twist a little bit from side to side. Start to just open up the side body. See if you can get into that spot that's feeling a little stuck, but gently move into it. Mm -hmm. Go too deep and tend to begin. Yeah, it barely just feet doesn't feel painful or anything. So when we get our feet underneath us, we're going to start out like in a, in a squatting position. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to basically lean forward. Let's so throw that way forward. <laughs> there, you go. Mm -hmm. there you go. And then you're coming into airplane. So now we're doing that kind of peppermint patty 
get the sensation where you're in a B. So you're leaning all the way forward, right? Then you can drop your hips back and hook with your elbows. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, exactly. So now we're coming into a forward fold. And then just kind of walk the feet out a little bit. Spend one knee and then the other. Mm -hmm. And let's do that again. We're going to stay where we are. We're just pressing forward as far as you can. There you go. Stretch over the heart. Mm -hmm. Really good. Nice. And then slowly drop the upper body down. Press your hips back. And walk it out again. Okay. So, like, hang. Yeah, really hanging. Let your weight be in the swing. And then just pigeon toe your feet apart so you're coming into a wide straddle. Mm -hmm. Upper body stays the same. And then see if you can find this rotation. Today. I want you to do some strengthening with you, like we'll do it another time. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And then all we're going to do is bend our knees and sit back, come back to where we were. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next little jaunt, I'm going to show you in, in this swing, even though there's not a whole lot of space to work, I'm just going to basically hook my ankles. Like this. Okay? And then I'm going to mainly just show you in one direction. Mm -hmm. You're going to start to undulate back and forth. So hook your ankles, yeah. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to drop your hips and you're going to pull that leg loop. So always keep your arms wrapped around the outside. And reach for the leg loop. Pull that leg. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Drop your knee. And pull the foot. Yeah. So you can really feel that in the in the yeah. <laughs> outer hip piriformis area. It's great. So good. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you can pretty much just let gravity do the work and you're pulling in, but it's more like the down that's happening. That's really opening it up. And the more you drop your knee, the bigger the stretch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you basically get this whole side body action happening too. Yeah. Oh. You feel it. It's yeah. awesome. So good. Yeah. So let's switch. Stretch. Good. Let's switch sides. So we'll come back to that one, but might as well, since we're mirroring each other, stay in sync. Cool. And just notice the difference between the two sides. See if you can get this knee to come down a little bit more to get into that side body, because like all of that fascia that's basically happening there is what's causing the hold up in the low back. And this is true for all beings. <laughs> so it's, it's something that's happening in the hip. That's yeah, the absolutely. The, back. the SI joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all those attachments. So yeah, just really let the hips drop down. And then let's try that again. Go the other way. So dropping both hips straight down, pulling the foot in. You can also lift this hip like this and come into the side body, but lengthen both sides of the hips. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Like this? Yeah, square your hips. Mm -hmm. Just pull your knee down with your hip square. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's way more of a stretch. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like tighter in there. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I can feel it now. Yeah. So usually what we do, instead of just pulling the hip down, we uh, pulling the knee down, we rotate the whole hip. Mm -hmm. So we're isolating that joint to mm -hmm. really get into the, the connective tissue. One more time. Switch sides. Really good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And just notice, like, I could pull my knee down a lot if I lift my hip, but what happens if I square my hip and then pull my knee down? So just a different stretch, that's what it's kind of getting into those details. Really good. And then just see how much you can relax and let gravity do the work. And of course at the same time we're kind of like rising up so the shoulders come down. Yeah, there you go. Just keeping that right open. The last one we're going to do is uh, Baddha Konasana. So both feet together. First one is just press your knees down. Again, lift your heart if you're feeling a little circulation thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, open the knees as much as possible. 
and then we're going to reach up as high as we can. Grab me for the leg loops. Always keep your arms on the outside. Leg loops are here. Leg loops are here. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so press your feet together a lot and just lift your hips. Mm -hmm. It's called fun. And then the last part is you're going to straighten the legs, holding onto the leg loops, just straighten the legs. Kind of dip a little bit forward as if you're coming into a forward fold. Heart towards the knees. Nice. And then the last thing you can do is a wide straddle, so just bring the legs up wide, wide, wide. Mm -hmm. Nice. Really good. Awesome. So let's like take a little break mm -hmm. from, from those ones. Mm -hmm. um, come to standing for a second and just kind of shake out the legs, shake out the arms, and see how that's feeling. Give me feedback on what you're noticing in the body. Okay. Um, yeah, the side feels better. I can still feel it. Sure. Like this, but it feels definitely more open. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Yeah. Let me see if I can actually do an inversion or if this needs to be higher. That's fine. These things you change are different. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's things you change. Great. Okay, so now we're going to come into what I call the chillax and poses. Mm -hmm. And so, again, it's like, some of these are, are the yoga translations, and some of them are their own entities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so instead of hooking at the feet, we're going to hook at the knees. We're just basically hanging from the knees. Awesome. So the first thing I like to do is just twist a little bit from side to side, and explore the space within your body. Have that feeling of leverage and lift. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I keep like forgetting to hang, mm -hmm. you know, to let the thing just... Oh yeah, hold you? Yeah. Uh, that'll come in time. The body will relax more. Mm -hmm. Great. So there's a few different poses we can do here. There's one that I normally do at the ankles, but we could do here with a, um, instead. It's called Namaste. Mm -hmm. So we bring our hands to prayer in mm -hmm. front, and then we just lean back in the Uh-huh. And then from here, what you can do is you can just make sure the swing's in a good spot to just open into a five-pointed slot. Mm -hmm. So your hips are slightly up down. And then the last part, I call it legal. So I can basically keep the legs together and let the swing come into the, into the waist. And then I arms on the ground, palms facing down. <laughs> Just make sure that your lower back is happy. Yeah. This one. This one might be a little extreme. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Just kind of prepare mm. for back bend. Uh huh. Can you bring your arm hands down? It feels kind of. I'm just nervous to do sure. that because of my back thing. Yeah, this way you should be supporting it, but if it doesn't, don't do it. But the, but the idea is we're moving into a back bend. Uh huh. Back bend, which is bending your knees and bending your feet. If you don't want to do that when it's totally cold, mm -hmm. mm. this so one we, actually feels more yeah comfortable yeah. than the other one. So the swing should basically be supporting that spot in your hip. Yeah, and allowing you to open your heart. Squeeze the knees just a little closer together so they're in line with the knees. Really good. So when we come up, it's like a whole sequence that we do. Um, basically, we come here into child's pose. Mm -hmm. Start here. Mm -hmm. We open up into five pointed star. Bring it into Namaste. Mm -hmm. 
Namaste turns into ladle. <laughs> uh huh. Arms go overhead, so it was modify that. Uh huh. And then it comes into the back bend. So one pose flows into the next. And then we come back up into child's. Next. So make sure this feels good on your lower back too. If you ever just want to like hang here, it's like a kind of like a floating child's pose where you're pulling your knees in slightly and you're just letting your hips drop. Mm -hmm. Lengthens things out for the sake of your back a And then the same, just what I call chillaxing. You're just like letting the swing go back and forth a little bit. Swing and swing. <laughs> Good. There's one more pose that's really great for opening up the heart. And like I said, when your back's feeling better, we'll, we'll focus on all those engagement principles I was talking about. So you pretend like you're coming into Namaste, so hands come together at the heart. Right? Mm -hmm. You press the, the leg loops away, and you come into the skydiver. Come together. Bend the elbows. <laughs> yep. Like that? Yeah. Oh, that's and then so cool. if, Yeah. So if you drop into your elbow creases, this is called flying butterfly. So feet together. Mm -hmm. And then I usually just undulate the knees like a little butterfly leg. Mm. Back and forth. And at the same time, you're really engaging the arms that you come right over. So that's how you get kind of the strengthening and the stretching at the same time. You start to feel oh, so great. Mm -hmm. Feels so good. And then just bank a little bit from side to side as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And you'll start to feel like your the blood in your hands and your fingers. That's when you just know it's in your hands. And, your mm -hmm. and then we just reverse. So we basically sit our hips back. Come forward. Go back in here. And we're back in chillaxing. Uh -huh. So I do, like I call this one the hammock pose whenever I have my hands clasped behind my head and I start to, to just totally like drop in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can see why I always bring this with me when I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so great. Alright, let's go about the sequence one more time. Okay? Start out in child's pose. Mm -hmm. Four hands towards our forehead. We're going to open up into five pointed star. Nice. Turn that into Namaste. Elbows, feet together. Elbows forward like this. Like this? This way. Yes. And kind of turn around. Yeah. <laughs> so elbows like this, right? Mm -hmm. No. Like so this. hands together in front of the heart. Mm -hmm. Press. Open. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then elbows step forward. Hands come forward. Come forward. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's a little bit where he's like, it's a good sign. <laughs> Body relax, but your whole bones are far. Big opening in the front of the body. Just make sure your hips are happy in this spot, too. Mm -hmm. I usually do these gentle little undulations with the knees mm -hmm. that opens up the whole groin hip flexor area. Small break to reset the body. 
thirsty, but I think I'll wait for the water. You so sure? Get, you know, I'll drink a little bit of water if you need, because it's I'll drink it's a little. Because yeah. in yoga, I, whenever I drink water, I get, I get nauseous. nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. So one of the things we didn't do, and I'll just go over this, face this way, it's fine. One of the things we didn't finish with is the dancing shivas. Stretch away. Um, so after we're here, we can basically come into some splits like this where you press them apart, which takes a little more strength. Mm -hmm. But more than that, it's more interesting to come into some lunge poses. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't do this with your back leg, you can always just let this come up and ground mm -hmm. by the foot and do some lunges like this. Mm -hmm. I'll let you try this and then we'll do some new version. So either twist, drop the foot, pull this one in. You can also do a much bigger stretch. Reach for the toes. It's a big mm -hmm. hamstring stretch. Or you just let it come up you know, closer to the groin. Mm -hmm. Pull that one away. So you can make arrow poses. This is really good for the hips as well. So usually I go back and forth a few times mm -hmm. in the dancing shivas. Mm -hmm. Totally. <laughs> it's going to get that rotation in the hip. So that was one of the things that I was um, I was working on with air one that you can try as well. We'll switch back to the feet for a second. It's getting the, those rotations, mm -hmm. getting the full rotation mm -hmm. in the ball and socket. Yeah. That actually helps lubricate the whole joint in the long run, makes the body much happier. Yeah. So we'll play with that too before we move on to the inversion, see if you can get that rotation. It's just a big, big stretch in the quad. Mm -hmm. So all these kind of fall into the dancing Shiva category. Mm -hmm. Just kind of playing the twists. And then you're fully supported in the swing too, but you can also let your body hang. Mm -hmm. So let's try that before we move on. Okay. I'll, I'll watch you work with the rotation because sometimes what we do is we're so used to the linear movement we don't get into the full hip rotation we kind of skip it yeah 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 i know what you mean okay so let's start with it at the knees so just lean back and put these on your knees mm -hmm. so try the first one where you're basically going to hold on to each leg loop and press straight out It is intense. Yeah. You can actually okay. sit up, sit more forward, so you're actually like fully suspended and straighten your arms out. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sit more forward. Like bring my mm -hmm. like you're doing splits. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you're like ah. <laughs> it's a lot of strength to actually like sit straight up. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, exactly. It's like back strength, isn't it? Or I can't really tell. Uh, yeah. Is, but arms. I don't really have it. Yeah. There you go. There's the position. Okay, yeah. but then my arms would be straight. <laughs> yes. That's we'll get it. there. Yeah, that's why I said, don't worry about that one right now. We're, we're not working with strength so much today. Mm -hmm. um, so you can let go of the leg loops, and basically you're going to start doing some dancing shivas. So you're holding on there, yeah, and mm -hmm. you're just bending and twisting to one side. Yes. Really good. And then twisting to the other side. I think I can actually do them with you. I was just kind of concerned about the leg. I mean, the wall just hits. So am I like relaxing back in here while I'm doing them? Actually, hold on to the leg loops again. That's what I figured it would be good. So that way you can actually press and twist at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, yeah, sit up into the swing because you're getting that big groin stretch. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I have this one leg tucked and this one bent. It's almost like it's coming in. Yes, okay. there it is. That's the dancing shape. That makes it great. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, let's go the other way. So yeah, so we're using our arms to kind of press that one way. I guess. It's like coordination or something. <laughs> what is it? So, <laughs> okay. so um, mimic me. So we're going in the same direction. Yeah, there we go. This back arm is straight. Oh, that's what it is. The back arm is straight. Mm -hmm. that's, what that's what it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's go. We'll go towards you. So we're going to bend the front knee. We'll press the back arm straight. There it is. Gotcha. Yeah. 
feels so good. It feels so good. I know it's a little wonky, but it definitely feels good. Now let's try that with, um, we're doing the same dancing shape as it's almost like under the Varasana. That's what we're moving into. Mm -hmm. So move the, the leg loops to the arch of the feet. We're really just doing major focus on the hips today. Mm -hmm. Let's just first do the Vipanasana and rock a little from side to side. Your hands are up closer to your hip flexors now. Mm -hmm. You can kind of press that one hip down so you can create a little bit more space in there. Nice. Micro movements to get those hips open. And that should feel good on your low back. That should feel like space is happening. Mm -hmm. It's like the opposite of the compression from mm -hmm. the great. You guys will just hang two yoga swings and sit in them while you guys <laughs> teach to learn to sit in them. And like, what? That would that's be amazing. What, that's what we do. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's hold on to the leg loops again. Let's work with this rotation. Let's just work. Yeah, let's do the same side. Or mimic me. Okay. So, yeah. so rotating down. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Big one. So knees almost pointing down to the ground, that's great. And then the other hip is opening. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, be really careful when you move through, you're like going to keep the foot flexed. Yeah. So the knee feels good. Yeah. And let's just switch. Point to that first style here. Nice. And this is um, not so much engagement as we're just getting into the deep rotation and stretching. That's so good. step of this is to come up so you're kneeling into the swing and then the other knee stays down. Mm. Just like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Big quad stretch. Yeah. Keep the body in one straight line to so keep your torso up. Mm -hmm. You'll really feel that in the quad. Come back nice and slow at the center. Mm -hmm. Switch sides. So we're not going to stand quite yet. Just going to let that drop. Second side. Mm -hmm. Knee down, yep, that's standard for this one. Keep that knee straight up and down, torso straight up and down. Yep. Mm -hmm. You'll see where the body's trying to get out of it. Maybe like <laughs> <laughs> leaning somewhere. Yeah. That's great. And like I said, these will help a lot because we want to get into the full rotation of the hips. Mm -hmm. And then just come back to a, um, one last flat of right here. Wow. So good. See. Okay, I'm going to show you the inverted body kanasana. So we, we did flying monkey. Can you reach up and you grab here? Mm -hmm. So now we sit up in our, into our feet. I thread my hands through so my elbows are hooked in the swing. And now I'm hanging by my hip, my hip creases. Mm -hmm. This is like amazing for all this. So I'll sit up. Let me reverse so I can show you. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Spread through. So it's like the namaste? Yes. Both sides. Good job. Uh -huh. You can do it. Stay in the, stay in the swing. Mm -hmm. And then lean forward so you're hanging with your elbows. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Keep uh -huh. the feet together. Knees wide. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then when you're ready, you can let go of the swing. Square. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you're not that far. <laughs> and then let your body hang from your head. It'll be intense on the hips, should, but it should feel good on the low back. So we're breaking up all of that fascia. Yeah. And this is the kind of pose you can just stay in for three to five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One last version I like to do is I take my hands and I press them into my thighs. And So good. Amazing. Super awesome. <laughs> it's like you just cannot get the stretch in yoga. I'm sorry. I know. Yeah. So cool. So now to get out of it, 
we're going to simply reverse today. There's a flip you can do, but we won't do it right now. So you just reach up, grab for the swing, pick yourself up, and put that behind your back. <laughs> reach up with one hand and bring it forward. Like, at? <laughs> just keep reaching for the leg lifts though with your hands. Keep going. Like this? Yeah, go ahead. Going. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me get that swing behind you so you can straighten. Let's just get the uh, chillaxin pose going mm. for a minute. Mm. <laughs> Do great. Thanks, Jen. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's an advanced move for oh. sure. I know. <laughs> you're you're going to feel it everywhere. Great. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I didn't even know I had muscles there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do some of the flips, and I'll just show you from here and modify with the wall. It'll be pretty easy to do. So the swing comes to the low back, mm -hmm. like, we, like we did in the back bends, and then I'm just going to simply bring my legs up over my head. Mm -hmm. You can um, wrap the, the legs around, or you can keep them kind of hanging in, in the leg loops. It doesn't matter. But you said you were doing the inversion, so this is okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so come here. So move this to my back. Yep, you just lean back, mm -hmm. go into your waist, mm -hmm. and then just bring your legs up, out and around. So wrap them around, so they're in front of the swing now. Like, no. Do I keep my legs in? Yeah, this? it's okay. You keep them in there, just one leg at a time. You wrap them around the swing. I'm thinking, oh, like, yeah, just go to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Let your upper body come down, and then your legs will be like. I don't so know why it's, it's not working. It's okay. <laughs> You're just making it a little bit harder than it needs to be. Just wrap your legs around ah, one at a time. There, there we go. Mm -hmm. ah, no problem. That's okay. good. Yeah. Okay. So here, and this feels like it's in the sweet spot. It feels like your your lower back is happy because I usually yeah. just spread it out a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. It's good. It's helpful if you have somebody there. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So, in this pose, you're going to turn around and in the same position, same way you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, your legs are still in the leg loops, which doesn't really matter too much, but I'm just keeping them there for fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, in this pose, one of the things I like to do is I like to walk myself back into an arched position. Like this? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yoga mat doesn't necessarily help, but yeah. it's there. So then I get to twist a little bit from side to side. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm getting more of the length in the side body. It's like what I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. You're doing great. that we can do here. Well, one, one thing I do is I actually come into like practice handstands, but just keep my, mm -hmm. my legs kind of um, level with my hips, so I'll shape with the body. Mm -hmm. And then I press back, kind of open up the shoulders, mm -hmm. right? And then come up and just do a little bit of a pike, they call it. So you want to bring your legs out? So yes. straight down like an L. L is like, yeah, level with the hips. Keep going, down, down, down. Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And then press back. Mm -hmm. And then forward. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you can use your core here to kind of lift up a little bit. You feel that? Yeah. I think it's like, I feel like the um, thing is going to suddenly <laughs> slip into my groin, like in a really sensitive part of my thighs. So it's mm -hmm. hard to make them L-shaped because it seems it's gotcha. like to, to push in. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Well, you can have a little bit of a wide straddle and still be in L, just as long as your feet are coming like, down towards the ground. Oh. Yeah, because that's what's holding you in the swing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh -huh. it's kind of important. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. So the idea is you're getting some balance and some arm strength here and practicing for handstands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I like to do, is kind of play mm -hmm. with strength and balance there. So now we're going to reach up and we're going to grab for the leg loops. 
And there's a different hand position I like to do. You can just hold here like this, so like bicep curls. So take the bottom of your legs. Okay. Like that. Yeah, so you grab them with your hands, wrap your legs back around. Yeah. We'll, we'll come up after just a few minutes because that's not always intense. So yeah, I want you to do some curls. So I'm going to raise it up to show you how to do some, some belly work. Mm -hmm. That was more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Regular sit up. So mm -hmm. we're going to do curls oh. at the same time. So you upside down. We can also straighten the legs and have like a little bit of a bigger sit up going on. Mm -hmm. You want to do some stronger. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to come back up. Yeah. <laughs> so like, hold that to your leg loops and then just slowly bring your legs down. Okay. Oh, you're starting to feel nauseous. Uh -huh. Oh, it's your body detoxing. Oh. So stay in the swing, don't go too far. <laughs> Let it hold you. <laughs> Good. And just take a few moments before we uh, do any of the other inversions. Cause there's a whole another sequence that we're going to do with that. You're feeling nauseous when you go on to, um, oh. we'll, we'll skip that one and go on to um, the down dogs. But you can always come back to the, um, <laughs> the super fly snooker. Okay. Oh. Actually, I feel really nauseous. Mm -hmm. That's pretty common when the body's not used to being upside down. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good for your system. It's kind of like dumping out an old purse, mm -hmm. shaking out all the stuff in the bottom. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just give it a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever um, I get nauseous, I wind up just regrounding myself so you can kind of come and come to stand in. Yeah. Oh my god. Creating a standing sequence for you. Oh. <laughs> so we don't have to go upside down. Yeah, it's funny when I'm teaching like a three hour workshop in this, <laughs> I'm like, okay, people can be upside down for five minutes. You see how I can drag this out so they can get like, you know, a full experience. Mm. I also notice how. The swing will kind of traction the muscles on the back. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what I love. Yeah. You can kind of sit in it at the back and then kind of let it just go up the sides of the spine. And just stretch the whole paraspinals up into the inner arms. Mm -hmm. That feels really good too because it's kind of like mm -hmm. in there. So you just tell me when you're ready. You take your time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's like halfway. Mm -hmm. Halfway better. Yep, yeah. Mm.
like one of those things like um, Bikram Yoga. Mm. Where, I ate lunch like back in at like 12.30 and I had a snack like on my way home. It's just your body detoxing. It doesn't even matter if when you ate, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's not that. Mm -mm. It's the detox. Yeah, it's really, really good for your body, but it's so intense at first. I'm just going to show you the vinyasa move so you have it on tape and okay. you'll be able to do it in your own time. So mm -hmm. this is kind of the, the translation for the vinyasa flows. Mm -hmm. Come here, come down, similar to what we were doing before. Uh huh. Press up. Yeah, you have to keep your feet down. So this would be the same as... Um, Doing a cobra pose. Mm -hmm. I take so much pressure off the body. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, but you have to kind of get used to it. It's like you have to catch on fire. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. And then it's easy. It just has this nice flow to it. Mm -hmm. And if you're not used to being kind of ungrounded, then it takes a little bit for the body to get used to it. Right, yeah, I always get nauseous in yoga when I do mm. camel. Oh. You know? A camel? Yeah, you know? Like. <laughs> I, I was like born upside down and never really went back the other way. So. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Just the reorientation. Yeah. So that's good information to know. So that's the vinyasa flow. And so then we're going to go from vinyasa flow, we're going to skip this for you to mm -hmm. show you, mm -hmm. to uh, the superfly snooka when you hold these in your hands and you come up this way. Mm -hmm. So this would be more of the balance and the strengthening mm -hmm. I was telling you about. So chaturangas, mm -hmm. which are challenging if you're balancing a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. And then these go on the shoulders. You're coming into another. Christ consciousness. Uh huh. <laughs> it's been right here all along. Yeah. <laughs> this one to the elbows. This is Yoda. Mm -hmm. This is a nice pose for you, for sure. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Really nice. When you're ready to just kind of chill and jump in. And slowly come up. So what we'll do today is why don't we just do a little bit more of the leg stretching okay. and then we'll get into some of the forward folds and downward dog when you feel ready. Mm -hmm. So I want you to use both handles. We're going to face each other. You're going to be great. Yeah, those ones. Uh, but not the, this ones are for elbows. Let's use these ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those handles. Let's use that stick. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get one leg up there. <laughs> okay. And then you just come into a forward fold. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the elbows are coming coming straight down, so you have like a bicep curl happening. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can kind of press forward. Your tippy toes. Press. <laughs> so elbows, elbows in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just get into a deeper stretch, and you're also doing some balancing. So you're not going to go anywhere if you're if you lose your balance. So yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> use the so, supportive. so just leaning forward and back a little bit and playing in this space with both stretching and balance. There you go. Good. If you want to be adventurous, you can bring the foot up. <laughs> you don't have to. This is saying you're not going to go anywhere. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> but it is fun to swing. <laughs> Come into a side stretch again, yeah. turning sideways. Yeah. Hold on with both hands just for balance for now, but normally we would do this, right? Uh -huh. A little bit more challenging. And then switch. to 
this stuff is so great on your hips. And let's try turning our foot out. But I always like to just play with the edge of where is my balance. So if I'll come forward and back, but you can stay right in center. Mm -hmm. Just practice here. Because eventually, you know, it's preparing you to do this, you know, where, you're, where you get to actually practice some of the poses mm -hmm. and be mm -hmm. really suspended. And then if you want to swing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling I'm nauseous. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm on the border. Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, play it safe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the last one I want to do, I'm going to put this behind my back just to get it out of the way. So I'd like for you to just do a big stretch here. I'm going to change my grip where um, my hands are inside. Does that make sense? So I put them around, yeah, I put them around my wrist and then grab. It's just a little bit more comfortable. And then I just drop straight down. And actually, oh, come to your knees if you're yeah, like that. Yeah, great. And then you just kind of twist a little bit again, side to side. Mm -hmm. It's really good to hang by your shoulders and your arms to also stretch up a little bit. See if you can get that one little spot open and sticky. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If I do little circles, I can feel it in the right hip. See what the spot is. I'm empathically experiencing it. <laughs> so good. And then another way to practice the lunges is here in this space. So you're fully suspended and you can like kind of lift up a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, good, isn't it? Really good. So if you ever like get ungrounded, like said, from any of the, the poses, you can just switch and come to these standing poses, which is really more connected to the ground. Mm -hmm. So the last one I want to show you is um, like a, it's called cocoon. Mm -hmm. The hands kind of expand again. So you can actually expand the swing mm -hmm. and come into it. So I don't know if you do your hand and these, but these are my favorite Rishadasana. Yeah. So you basically get in and just stretch the swing out as far as you can. Good. Just lengthen it out. And then you can keep your arms kind of crossed over your chest. Uh -huh. Or you can pull your knees into your chest, mm -hmm. or you can bring your legs up like as if your legs were a burrito brownie at the wall. Uh -huh. But find like a, a spot where you can really just drop in, cocoon. Mm -hmm. And if right now you're feeling a little too woozy to swing, uh -huh. you can kind of come out of it. But if you feel really comfortable here, just let your body totally feel supported and mm -hmm. rounded, you know, and drop in. This is a really great way to, to do like a shavasana, a little nap or whatever. It like brings us back into the womb. Yeah, totally. It's really great for the nervous system. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like a whole like restorative sequence that I do in the cocoon that is like everybody's favorite. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so nice. Yeah, after doing all the like dynamic stuff, you're like, okay, yeah, just stay here. And it's like your body is fully, fully encapsulated and, and held and it feels really good. So there's a whole way of uh, training with it that is much more relaxing in um, all levels. Some of the stuff you're doing is a little bit more advanced. So. Yeah. Two minutes of dropping in here. Okay. So a sweet spot for both the arms and the legs.
welcome. Awesome. Whoever yeah. created, so your friend and her, your friend and her, and Ben 